welcome back to BusyBots and I'm doing my best to keep the uh, MakerBot busy and I'm getting ready to make another print this one is called We Love Mom from Thingiverse and I'll show that to you here in a second uh, but first I wanted to show a little bit of the preparation to get ready for our next print uh, I'll be showing you more videos on how to maintain the MakerBot how to level the platform, change filament, uh, do some calibration uh, I'll also show you some of the problems I had with it when it arrived. Uh, took some hard knocks, I think, in, uh, in shipping. So, But now I have it working well. And uh, I've got a fresh layer of tape on the bed. We'll come to that again later on. But now, um, before each print, you have to do an acetone wipe of the, of the tape. Uh, the acetone helps to cleans the surface and also makes it stickier so that the, uh, the 3D print will stay on the bed and not lift up or cur curl during the print. So, pretty basic, a little bit of acetone. Doesn't take too much. And yeah, just wipe it across. That's all. That's all you need. At least, uh, that's all I think you need. It's only been a few days with this thing. But so far, so good. Um, basically, um, just about everything I'm printing, I'm giving away. So far, I've only got a couple of pieces around here. But uh, that's, that's part of the fun. So uh, This one is called We Love You Mom, and I just loaded in some red filament. And so this is my first time printing with red. I've just so far used uh, black and white, which is the two colors that came with the MakerBot replicator. And... Um, this red filament spool was actually uh, given to me uh, for free by MakerBot uh, due to the delays in shipping. So that was their kind of concession for the delay, which I thought was very nice. So thank you, MakerBot Industries. And um, I'll tell you what, before I kick off the print, I'll show you the uh, Thingiverse entry so you can see what it is, and then we'll get started. Here's the model we're about to print. It's titled We Love Mom by user... CK Chavez on Thingiverse. So uh, thank you CK for making the uh, file available and uh, if it turns out well I'll give it to my kids and they can give it to uh, mom for Mother's Day. So let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so um, I wanted to point out uh, you can print to the MakerBot by two means. You can connect a USB cable and connect to it from your computer or you can use an SD card and from what I understand it's highly recommended that you use the SD card and not the USB cable. Uh, evidently there's some problems with printing with uh, minor interruptions while you're printing through USB causing problems with the print so uh, later on we'll come back I'll show you the software I'll show you how to get your file on the SD card properly and print it up the SD card goes here on the side there's a menu here I'll read it off to you uh, I'm choosing print from SD there's a listing of the various files I have on the card of course, we're down at the bottom with the W. We love mom. There it is. Select it, and it'll start the heating process. And once it's heated up, it'll start the print. So I'll come back in a little bit and show you um, the print as it's in pro progress. The MakerBot does the heating in three stages. First, the platform. And then, uh, I believe, the right extruder first, and then the left. And right now, we're still heating up the platform. I wanted to show you the print at this point uh, for two reasons. One, so you can see the, the fill structure inside. Uh, it's not solid plastic. There's like a honeycomb in there. Uh, this is set at 10% uh, fill. So even though it may look solid when it's done, there's a lot of airspace in between inside the save on plastic to make it lighter. Also, I wanted to point out, if you look at the, uh, at the tip of the heart closest to the camera, you'll see it's lifting up. and um, that happens. Um, to try to fix that, uh, I may try wiping it again without with the acetone, or maybe replacing the tape, uh, or print, printing with a raft, which is like a base layer of plastic. Um, in this case, it's not a structural part. I don't think it'll matter too much as long as it holds together. 
and it doesn't pop off the, the, the bed altogether before it finishes, so we'll see. Wow, that print took a long time. I should have timed it. Uh, I think it was at least 45 minutes. Anyway, it finished, and it never did pop off the uh, platform, so that's good. And it just finished now. It's still warm. Let me see if I can get it just with my hands. There we go. Don't need that. look you know I had uh, black filament in before the red I think even though I flushed it out it looks like there's still with some black coming out at least it's on the bottom and uh, it did warp a little bit you can see the upturn of the bottom of the heart but it doesn't seem to matter